So the last time we were out for a shopping trip was literally when Rob was here. I think that was August, which is what, nearly four months ago. So we've come back to Terry's happy place. We're at Laputa's DNA's. Um, so we'll put the link, well, I'll highlight a comment in the uh, description for you so you know exactly where it is, because quite a few people asked last time. And it is an amazing big brocante. Um, some of the stuff here is so varied. It's nice, it's actually nice stuff, and it's stuff that we want and that we're looking for as well, isn't it, Terence? It is, it is. You have some beautiful stuff in. So we've come back just to come out for the day and have a little look, really. See if your knife set's still here? Yeah. <laughs> come on then. <laughs> So I accidentally banged into this when I walked past and it makes a bit of a noise and I'm intrigued because I really don't know what it is. It has lights on, but it has these things up, like little vents in it and this, and I can only think it's something to do with heating. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I haven't got a clue. I'm going to go and ask, find out exactly what it is. Um, and we'll let you know by the end of the show, but it's just got me intrigued. It's not particularly pretty or nice. It's just got me, well, we've been looking and like it's got the button there for light. So and then it's got a switch to. We found the lights in there, the bulbs. So there's your bulbs, and it's got one on each corner. But then it's got another thing on, which we don't know what that is. It doesn't, it moves. I'm guessing that's the controller heat. And it's got Little something fence. in the center. The light, that's a halogen light. Is it? Yeah, to have a you know, like the heat bulbs. Yeah. That you used to get in under heat lamps. Yeah. In kitchens and that. That's what's in the middle of it. Mm. I need to know where it is. Yeah. I'm so we'll go and ask and we'll let you know, but let us know in the comments what you think it is. Um because we're just intrigued. Like I said, it's got these these events. There's like one there, one there, one up here. But then it's got these things as well and we just haven't got a clue what it is so let us know and we'll let you know by the end of the episode where it actually is if the owner knows where it is <laughs> we don't know but we'll have a look
So we've come back to look at our cutlery set and there's a sold sign on it. Terry. Well, it's one of them things, isn't it? It's luckily us that bought it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, they've held it for us for the last three months, bless them. Yeah, so finally made a trip to come back yeah. and get this. That's a f literally the first chance we've had with all the work we've had on. We haven't had a chance to be out and do stuff like this, so. No. Yeah, it was definitely something we wanted, and it, it, it was one of them things we couldn't leave it. No, we couldn't, and like I said, obviously, just seeing so many of you said that we just had to get it just because of the sort of monogram on it, we could just use it for Valacel, really, can absolutely. we? Like, it's just absolutely Perfect. stunning to, to get that. So, obviously, now we've got it, we're going to work at, obviously, creating this as a monogram for the chateau. For the chateau, aren't we? Yeah. And we'll work everything around that, because it's just nice and simple. Absolutely. And again, it was as if it's been made for, for, for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We just need to find some coutures now, the knives. Yeah, so we need some knives because it doesn't come with a knife set. So if you'd seen the video before, then you'd obviously know that. It was just the spoons, the forks. We've got some little dessert spoons and a soup ladle. They're not dessert spoons. They're, they're, they're teaspoons. teaspoons. Teaspoons then, sorry. But they're on the you back. so you dessert with that. Well, you would because you, you yeah, hold you them that way. So you always see the monogram. Mm -hmm. So if you're making a cup of tea, you'd hold it that way. Yeah, but then if you hold it that way, you're going to drop your cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hold the fork that way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let us know. Are they dessert spoons? The teaspoons, Terry. Teaspoons. The teaspoons. Teaspoons. Definitely teaspoons. <laughs> so yeah, so we've got that full set. We just need to get a set of knives to go with it now. A couple of nice knives I've seen. I might ask us for some prices. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A couple of nice so little like. sets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should sure we have a quick look at them? Come on then. Come on. So these were the knives that I was looking at. So I asked the lady, like, what's best to go with that set? And these were the ones that I thought were kind of nice, but they're really not. When I picked them up and felt them and that, um, she just said they're plated, they're not nice, and they're not nice enough to go with that set. That's it. No, so, with that being solid silver. Yeah, the, you can feel the difference. Yeah. And obviously you want it to be kind of, it's not going to be exact, but you want something that's going to be kind of even. And I think we'll have to have out. a look at some sort of like ivory ones or something like that. I think to, it's going to have to be. To match. Uh, something like completely different. They're going to have to be different, but the, like even that, I can feel it, it's plastic. Yeah. No, like proper ivory ones or something like that. Yeah. Just so it's completely different from the set. Um, Even these, so these are a set, but again, they're just, they're not nice. Yeah. Nice in design. They're lovely in design, but, but they're not they're nice just, to feel. No, they're just very light. Yeah, hollow. really light. So, so yeah. The so one thing I'm funny with is knives and forks. Anything else, Terry gets free reign, but when it comes to the knives and forks and that, no. Sorry. No. So the search is still on. Yep. We have to find some knives to go with the set. We will. Let's go and find another Brocont. Mm -hmm. Come on then. So, Brocont number two of the day. It is. We couldn't really find much at the other one. But it wasn't that there wasn't much there, there wasn't anything that we wanted. wanted. Yeah. I think now we're, we're getting now quite a lot of furniture for the suites. There's only certain bits that we need. Yeah. It makes it really hard now because you're looking for specifics, whereas it's just been about getting everything before. Yeah. Now it's very specific in what you're looking for and what we need. So we're at number two, and this one's looking promising, it looks beautiful on the outside. We've passed it about 30 times before, and we keep saying we're going to drop in, but with it being France, it's closed some days and open other days, and then closed an afternoon one day, open an afternoon another, so we've just chanced it, drove past it, and it's open. Yeah. So we're going to nip in, see if there's any little bits, any nice bits really. Yeah. So come yeah. on, we'll have a little look.
friend's house for you. Yep, sorry. Friend's house. Yeah. It's a lot of work though, doesn't it? It's only for you, will <laughs> You buy one of them in good condition, the 300 euro test so. Yeah. Where have you found? I don't know, but it's confused me. Terry's laughing at me because I've never seen one of these before. I know. It looks like there's air there, but Terry's telling me there's only air there. Yeah. Like, so what's there? It's two different liquids. So what's that? Oil, water, air? Yeah. Ah. You used to get them as kids, like you'd get like little windsurfers in them, especially when you used to go and hold it as stuff like Spain and that. Bless you. Have you never seen one? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me look a bit special. And there's, I like that one. Like what? That. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> you? Come on then. I'm going to carry on looking to you. The shades are quite nice because they um, match the ones that we've got. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Not that we need one, but it's beautiful. Isn't it? Even that, that's reasonable price. We've got one like that, haven't we? We've got one exactly the same. The one behind it's nicer. It's a nicer price, that one too, though. How much is that? That one's 150. It's on sample. 150 is not too bad. No, it's a bit. I really want a barometer, though. That's the third one that you've picked up today. I like barometers. I don't what is wrong with me. I like barometers. <laughs> I really don't know what is wrong with me. What will you do with them? Tell the weather. But don't you have an app for that? Yeah, but this is real. <coughs> it's us an app. No, but it's not. <laughs> this is physical. I can look at it and go, ooh. And we've got loads of new windows now, so you can just look at one of them and see the weather. I know, <coughs> but I like barometers. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if you want a barometer, we'll get a barometer. Thanks. <laughs> we'll carry on looking. So, we know where it is. Did you get it right? It's just a light. It's a Jensen. Um, it's a designer piece. It's custom. And I think he wants 3,500 euros for it. So, anyone that's wanting it, we'll put the details. Like I said, the link will be in the description um, to contact them. It is lovely. It is really, really strange. It's not something that's ever going to fit in the chateau, but to come in and just see different things and wonder what they are and what they're being used for, it's nice yeah. sometimes, isn't it? It is. If they had two, it might have been nice other side in the entrance. Yeah. But, yeah, there's only one, so unfortunately we can't take it. Oh, I don't know. We've saved seven grand, let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> let's get out of here now. <laughs> So, it was a fun day out, we're back, we've been working, but we just want to show you what we've got and show you why we've got it and explain some of the things that we've got. We were a bit disappointed with some of the stuff, we didn't get some of the bigger stuff we're looking for, but that, that's where we are now, we're at that difficult point, finding exact pieces of furniture for exact places. So, there was something we definitely had to go back for, which was our La La Salle cutlery. It was just too nice not to, to, to pass it up and it, it, it's exactly, what we're wanting in, in kind of a, a monogram for the chateau. So we've got them, I'll come back to them in a minute because we've got some other little pieces as well. So we ended up stopping at a second book comp and that was in Ducey. 
and what was it called? It was yeah, it was so yesterday and today, um, was the Brock Hunt's name, um, <coughs> and she had some lovely, lovely bits. If you're looking for uh, porcelain and stuff like that, the the place is she must have ten thousand pieces of porcelain, and that that's not an exaggeration. It was just unbelievable. So we have our beautiful little plates. And they are beautiful. Sorry, Patrick's trying to get in on the action behind the camera. You can't see. He's, he's annoying Terry. Um, but these, again, for the full service, it was 15 euro. But they're nice. Um, they're a look, it's exactly what we're looking for. What it means is when we welcome our first guests next year, we'll be able to bring you some pan au chocolat, a croissant, pour uh, petit déjeuner. So you'll be able to enjoy breakfast in the suite and, and enjoy these. So you'll, you'll get to see these firsthand. And obviously, we know I'm clumsy in here. So, just in case, just in case, um, Terry's bought some spare tulips, um, just in case at any point that one does get broke or we do need a spare, it's always good just to have a backup the same with everything we're doing in here. I said to Terry, we're labeling all the paints, we're labeling everything so that we can just go around and, and keep on top of everything in here. So, uh, spares for them, so that was nice, it was nice to get. But back to the cutlery. So the cutlery, um, the, the, it is special cutlery, and again, it's not just the monogram. This is this is solid, this is solid silver. It, it's not silver plated. Um, it's again, it's absolutely beautiful. The weighting in it, everything. I'm really funny with cutlery. Terry will tell you it has to be like weighted. It's got to be nice, and these are just absolutely beautiful. Um, the the hallmarks on them. So that we've got three in total which indicates looking through everything that I can see. We can see the letters PDR, um, which we've looked through, which looks like it's Paris department. Um, and they are, there's a couple of different ones that it could be, and we're umming and ahhing, but it's the same sort of era. Um, it brings us to about 1780 to 1809, which fits in again with exactly this place. Um, this could have once been here and it could have once been used. I know it hasn't been, but just romantic to actually think about it. and. Think about the people that have used these over the years and where they've been in the houses that these have been in. It's just such a romantic story. But we're working on the hallmarks. We've got a little bore on one side, it looks like, and it looks like a head on the other side, um, which again, that, that's leading us to the certain dates because they, they use specific ones in, in certain dates. And it, and it does bring us to that. I think Rubier, Rubier of Paris is the one that, that keeps coming up with the sort of silverware that we're looking at. And again, he kind of dates to, to that sort of time. But again, it's just all in keeping with everything that we're doing here. And again, it's the monogram and you guys were fantastic. Some people helped us out to be able to go and get these because these were way out of our price range for a couple of bits of cutlery, but it absolutely worth it. And again, they are absolutely beautiful and they're going to be enjoyed. They're going to be enjoyed for the next however long here with us because they'll stay here and they're, again, they're just perfect pieces to go along with everything that we're doing here. So we've enjoyed our trip out. We enjoyed our little pieces. We hope you have too. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.